Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cozy Girl Fancy Nails podcast. I'm your host, Michaela, and this is the coziest but fanciest podcast on the internet. And I'm so excited for today's episode because I have a lot of new faces, new subscribers, new listeners, and I thought that I would like literally I feel like every time I say we're just gonna chat and talk but this time I'm really just gonna chat and talk like this is really just um me telling you guys a little bit about myself a little bit about why I started doing nails and my inspiration behind it and yeah and maybe some of my vision but we'll see we'll see when when we get there but with all that being said let's just get into it So before I start, I do have coffee and it's actually hot. It's a fresh cup. So let's do a little sip, sip um, segment. If you guys have been here before, I take a sip of my drink. So you guys get a little bit of ASMR. If you don't like it, skip it. (laughs) Okay, so I also realize that I always have a cup of coffee or a drink or whatever next to me. But I'm the only one doing this podcast. And if I stop talking, you guys don't have a podcast. So I take one sip and then go into it. We're also not going to talk about the fact that my nails are two different lengths. Um, I put Gel X on one hand. I could not figure out what design I wanted on my hands. So I ended up like finally picking one and then not feeling like doing the other hand. So we still have structured... On this side we have gel x on this side and we're gonna we're gonna rock with it so hopefully it's done today but with <laughs> with all of that being said if you are new here my name is michaela i am 28 years old and i am the owner of cozy girl fancy nails the podcast and the nail business um I've had 15,000 different business names, (laughs) Um, but this one just fits me best and um, just really shows who I am. And yeah, I'm somebody who likes to be cozy at all times, but you will never, ever, ever see me without my nails done or me doing my nails. Because I do do content, I realize that sometimes my nails are naked and you can see that, but I'm in the process of doing them. They're never not done. So (laughs) I'm super uh, excited that you're here and that you're listening and that you are part of the Cozy Club. As you can see, if you're watching, I have my Cozy Club sign. This is my second week with the sign and I have a Cozy Club Facebook group. It is super inactive right now. I post every once in a while there. I'm trying to get like a vision for that and like figure out how I want to use that because I do think that it's a good uh, space to use, but I'm not even on Facebook like that. So (laughs) for me to have a whole Facebook group and keep up with it, it is kind of annoying. But if you do use Facebook, it is open. I can approve you and like literally network, do whatever you want in that group it's fine. It's, it's just a cozy little space there. But yeah, so I guess I'll start with all of my names that I've had for a business. (laughs) So I started out doing press-ons and I actually started doing press-ons in 2020, actually 2020. I didn't push it as hard as I thought that I was going to. It was just kind of a couple people here and there. And yeah, I didn't really... I was, I made like my own nail stand using a wood plate, super glue, and some beads. And I used uh, tips from Amazon, which there's no shade to people who use tips on Amazon. But I know right now a lot of the brands like Apre or uh, Painted Desert or SV, those are all really big brands for press on users right now. But I was literally just using like BT Art Box from like me just doing my own nails and I was like I have so many tips that I never use like let me just do press-ons I was doing 24 no 20 piece sets with lacquer polish so I was waiting a really long time for everything to dry um but that business was called on point and I did it for maybe two three four maybe five months um not very long at all 
And I ended up quitting that. I just was like, you know what? I'm going to put it to the side. Maybe I'll start this again at a later date. Fast forward 2021, I started doing, um, I'm not going to say the name of the company, but basically they were nail polish strips and you sell, I was like selling them. I basically would have like a Facebook group and I would have to be in there like every day, like promoting these products only to the Facebook group. Um, and I really actually did enjoy it. And like, I had long natural nails and then I was still doing press on. So like I would put them on the press ons. Um, so it was like, I could use them for really anything, but they were doing designs and things that I wouldn't wear. So it was really hard for me to promote things that I wouldn't wear. And, um, yeah, so I just was like, you know what, I'm going to set that aside and I am not going to do this either. (laughs) Uh, but at that point it really did spark press ons back up in my like soul. (laughs) So I was like, you know what, maybe I'll start press ons again. Maybe I'll start, you know, selling again and like being creative again. And I had this little like space in my in-laws house where I was doing my press-ons out of and I think that's when we got like the um what are those things called the checks that the government gave during COVID like we got one of those and uh I used some of that money to kind of like start my business like I got a desk I got all these tips I got some polishes like I just got the bare minimum to get me started it's so crazy to see where I am today like I literally I'm still doing nails out of my apartment but I have an entire space like an entire room um where I do this podcast I do nails I take clients in here I do content in here like everything it's just so amazing to see how I've grown in that but that business was called Rose Gold Dream and I started Rose Gold Dream. Um, I, I named it that because my favorite color at the time was Rose Gold and I was starting a dream of like doing nails and I really liked the name, but nobody could find me. Um, <laughs> like, because you look up Rose Gold Dream, it has nothing to do with nails. And so I wasn't really getting a bunch of like clients and things like that. And um, I just, I, w- I needed a change. So fast forward, I ended up changing my name to Nails by Michaela. And I think that's when I really started to blow up. I started, I say blow up. I'm not, it's not like I am like the most popular nail person ever but like I did start to have my name out there in the nail industry and like I met a lot of cool people um I have like I've networked literally I can say all over the world (laughs) like all over the world for I live on the east coast of the United States I have friends in California I have friends in the midwest I have friends in the UK friends in like Scotland, Switzerland, like all over the place, networking nails. It's so crazy how when you get into a niche of people and you're really like in it, you can meet people all over the place. So it's just really cool that I know a lot of people all over. Um, but then I started this podcast and I was like, I don't want it to be called Nails by Michaela, the podcast. And I was trying to figure out like a fun, cool, cool, like name. And I was like, you know what? I love to be cozy. Like I would love for this podcast to just be a really cozy podcast. And that's what it is now. Um, So I was like, you know what? I'm always cozy. I'm like 90% of the time in some sort of sweats or leggings, hoodies, nice comfortable like (laughs) shirt like I'm always just in a cozy mood and then so that's where cozy girl came from and then obviously I'm doing nails so fancy nails and I made that the name of my podcast and I was going to keep nails by Michaela and have cozy girl fancy nails but then I was like you know what I feel like cozy girl fancy nails is like bigger than just the podcast and that it is like what I want my business to be in general. Like when I look at 
my nail business from a bird's eye view how do I want it to feel hold on I'm gonna get a sip of coffee <laughs> <laughs> Oop. so yeah I wanted it to be cozy and it comes a lot from I want my okay so let me go back a little bit so you've heard all of my names and why I've named everything that <laughs> those names but this is the one that really stuck and this is the one that I'm like growing with and pushing forward um I have always felt like called to I feel like help is not the right word but just like I guess to be in a sense assistance of helping women feel beautiful no matter what skin they're in and I don't wear a lot of makeup myself and <laughs> I have locks so it's not like I was gonna do makeup and hair um, not that I can't do that as somebody who doesn't wear makeup or has locks but it's not something that I focus on in my day to day. I have been like into nails since I was seven years old. <laughs> I can say that with my whole chest. When I was seven years old, I just remember loving nails. I loved nail polish. I loved nail stickers, all the things. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do this. And I feel like when you're face to face with a client, as an introvert, I sometimes am like, why am I doing this? Like, why am I, why do I not just stick with press-ons? Like, why do I like want people to come into my space, into my home and like do them face to face? But there's something about seeing them feel pretty, seeing them like look at their nails and be like, oh my gosh, I love them. There's something about that that just makes me feel good. And, um, being able to like reconnect with other friends that like I don't really get to see on a day-to-day -day basis uh or that you know we just don't have time to connect like I've been able to do nails like that and everyone who's come in was like <laughs> is like oh my gosh your space is just so nice it's so relaxing it's so cozy I had one client I was doing her nails and She's like, I'm literally about to fall asleep. And I literally, I was like, if I could have something to strap her up and then like move her hand in and out of the lamp for me, I literally would let her sleep because I want, I want women to feel beautiful and rested and like be them, be their best selves when they leave. And so my space is supposed to be that cozy feeling it's supposed to be like this relaxing feel like this relaxing environment for you to come into and for you to feel your best self like that's just what I'm here for I'm just like you tell me what you want and we can do it I have music I can play you can watch some shows I don't have a tv so I usually have people watch on my ipad but it's fine um, <laughs> we can talk, you can be quiet, like whatever, literally whatever you want to do. And I wish that I would have had a space or a person or something like that when I was younger getting my nails done, because I feel like I would have been able to reach the level of confidence that I am now in myself. Like I'm very secure in who I am. I'm very, um, happy with who I am and like nobody can really change me about, about things, things that, that I know about it's, it's not, not hard, hard for people, people to change my mind about things that I don't know about or like when I'm just like kind of I don't know I have an opinion on I guess when I have an opinion on something I'm always open to learning and I'm always open to changing that but when I know something it's really hard for me to change it and so uh yeah I just I wish that I could have discovered this part of me when I was younger but I love who I am today I love uh the skin that I'm in I love my nails I love my hair I love my face and I'm not saying that I'm like perfect in any of <laughs> any of those, I'm not saying that I'm the best at like anything and I'm not saying that I don't have my bad days, but for the most part, like just being able to do this, just being able to do nails and like 
helping women feel beautiful in the skin that they're in also helps me because I'm seeing their confidence and so it boosts my confidence and like it's like yes I have this shirt that says empowered women empower women and I love that shirt so much I wish I could wear it every day but it would stink and people would think that I don't own any other clothes so <laughs> but I do wear that sh that shirt a lot so that's the purpose of my my business and that is why I continue to push to do nails and to do other people's nails um, at the moment I am doing content I am working with brands uh, and I am working on friends and family and yeah that's kind of like the gist of what I'm doing so that's like like a little rundown of it for those of you who are new and even if you've been here for a while I don't think that I've ever shared like my heart behind what my what my business is for I know that some people just have this because they have a passion for nails or they love art or they love I don't know they love long nails or even you know some people stopped uh started doing their own nails because they were tired of paying like the salon prices and then now they own a business which uh is funny because they're probably like oh i see why now <laughs> like why i paid that much money um getting my nails done so yeah but i i don't know i just thought it was cool i wish that i had like other people here so i could be like so why do you like nails <laughs> but or like why are you into nails but it's fine i i definitely i'm happy with my business i'm happy with where it is and i'm ready to see it grow and yeah so that's that oh i can talk i can talk about like the vision for the podcast or like why I made the podcast so I followed Young Nails the Young Nails podcast I said followed I do follow them I love listening to that it's such a good if you've seen a couple of episodes ago I talked about professional development and I truly believe that just listening to a podcast like that is professional development so I have a bunch of like podcasts that like teach things but I wanted something that was just like let's just talk about nails like I don't have anybody in my life that I can just talk to like in my day-to-day -day personal life that I can just talk to about nails to talk to about business planning and talk to about uh all the things like I just wanted to have a space where I could just share all things nails I'm not trying to educate anybody I'm not trying to um, say that my opinion is the best opinion or why my opinion stands it's just like let's get down to the nitty-gritty of everything in this nail industry and um, that's what this has been I think my first two episodes I talked about why I started nails and then my other one was like how it helped me form a passion which I don't really understand why I named it that because I don't really remember why like what was what that was I think I was talking about like mental health or something it made absolutely no sense at least to me <laughs> at least to me it made absolutely no sense and I was just like what is this episode but hey we all have to start somewhere and we're on episode 30 which is crazy like I've done this for I've sat down and talked about nails 30 times <laughs> I've probably actually done that more more than 30 times because I know that there's times that I've sat down to like record a podcast and then the camera would go out or my audio would go out. I had to check my audio <laughs> or whatever, but crazy. It's so crazy because like now we're here and I finally found like, I think this is the coziest that the setup has been and it makes it feel a little bit, I don't know, nicer. I'm so thankful because my desk is so light. I literally just pull it out the way and then put this chair here. This chair is also very light, so it's so nice. But yeah, I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but that's okay. That's what this podcast is for. It's just to talk. It's to ramble. It's for you to put in. I mean, I guess you can listen to it in the car, but like I also wanted this podcast to be something that you could put on when you were doing nails or like doing content or whatever. I watch stuff all the time when I'm doing content. Um, I don't really ever do ASMR content, so, um, <laughs> I usually have, like, 
a show on or at least my headphones in and doing it and it's just a good time so i wanted that to be this uh that concept for this podcast as well so okay i don't know how long exactly i've been recording But I think that's it, and I think that I got everything out. If you have any questions and you want to know anything, literally comment it, DM me on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, and am I on Threads still? I don't know, and Threads still might be a different, it might be a completely different handle. But anyways, you can follow me on all of those social platforms um, at Cozy Girl Fancy Nails. And you can join my Facebook group, which is called Cozy Club. And I think it's Cozy Club by Nails by Michaela, even though I want to change that as well. And yeah, if you are a nail artist, I want to put this in here as well, because I have a friend and I think I've talked about it on the podcast before. She owns a company called Brit Brat Nail Supply and the products are so good. And I'm not even saying that because I know her personally. I'm saying that because it's true. I literally use the gel at tip glue on clients, which is like basically the um, extend gel or whatever you would use for gel X. I use that. There's builder in a bottle. I use used it for my structured manicure. I use it on clients. Like if I'm using something on a client, that means I think it's good. I, there's p- certain products that I used on press-ons that I will not use on a client anymore. And so it's so good. So, so, so good. So you can get these products 10% off using my code cozygirl10 at checkout. Um, I'll also have the link below that I think if you click it, the the code will automatically be taken out or like the uh, money will already be taken out but if not still use my code cozy girl 10 but yeah i'm so excited the link will be below it's so good y'all i'm telling you i'm putting you on now so you can say that you were there at the beginning when she started okay so yeah i think she has top coat base coat builder um She has super bases, which are really, really nice. And then there's, at this point, okay, yeah. (laughs) At this point, when this podcast comes out on the 10th, she has a summer summer collection dropping and you will not want to miss it because those nails are, those colors, so cute. And I don't even really like neons like that. So pay attention. (laughs) follow me on Instagram and follow her on Instagram and click the link in the description if you want to see a little bit more of those but other than that I think that that is it for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed just as much as I did and yeah I'll see you in the next one remember to stay cozy and keep your nails fancy and have a good rest of your Tuesday or whatever day you're watching this (laughs) bye you guys